What's going on streamers and content creators? It is your boy Brady Rupert or Brady Roops as you guys know from me streaming and also playing games. If you haven't checked that stuff out, make sure you do below. I'm also a streamer myself, but we're not here to talk about me today. We're here to talk about how you are going to be able to set up alerts on your channel. Super simple, super free, very, very, uh, you know, just quick and really you only need to go to one website and uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. So. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so the first step is going in the description of this video and clicking the link that I have for Streamlabs.com. I'm going to be showing both methods, how you can do it through OBS and Streamlabs OBS. It's They're both very, very straightforward, literally one steps. Okay, but we are here. Here are some general settings here, which I just clicked on. I'm not going to worry about that too much. We're just going to be focusing on each individual alert. So for example, we have the follow one, which I will do it one more time to show it on the screen for you guys here. You got the, uh, you know, the frog coming in or whatever. So this is what, uh, you know, I, I hit test. So this is what, uh, you know, you can edit it right here. Like it says right here, this name in brackets. Name in brackets is essentially going to be the name of the person that follows you. So that's really important to have because obviously everybody likes to have their name pop up. And this is also going to alert you when you get a new follower or something so you can really appreciate um, you know them coming into your stream when you're a new streamer You're not gonna have a crazy amount of activity So any little activity you can really get and capitalize on and be like hey, man Thanks for being here That's gonna make people feel really good and then if their friends watching or another person's watching they might be like hey I want my name to pop on the streamer. Hey, I want to be appreciated. I've been watching this guy for like five minutes Let me drop a follow real quick so and you know It's just kind of nice to have to you know find something that you really like that you really vibe with that really kind of goes with your channel you can upload any kind of custom image right here as well, as lo along with uh, your sounds as well. They can be custom. Uh, they have some on the website as well. You can even dial the sound down a little bit, which is think I think I'm actually going to do that for both my follower and subscriber one because they are both really loud. And again, guys, when you are doing this, it's going to take a little bit of tweaking uh, for you to figure out exactly what settings you really need, you know. But the important thing is, is that you actually have your alerts ready. So even if they may not be the best, it could be too loud somewhere or go on too long or, you know, you might want to change the style up. The point is actually getting the alert box. Like, it's really not hard. If you're watching this tutorial, you should you should you should be doing this. That that's just it. Like if you're a small streamer, you need to be doing this. It's there's no other way around it. But you guys can see they got donations, they got bits, they got raids, they got all kinds of good stuff. So you know, um, you might not be getting big raids when you're uh, smaller, but even a raid of like two viewers, you want to have something custom to really appreciate that. And it is really cool. Plus, it's going to be a new sound that you're going to hear in your headphones because it does actually go through your desktop audio. I will show you what I mean by that. If I hit test follower, and I pull up my OBS. You can see, maybe you caught it right at the end there, but basically it does actually go through your desktop audio, so just make sure that that is playing when the alert triggers. Once you are done customizing the settings and you know the alerts to your liking, what you want to do is stay on this website, look for the widget URL at the top of the screen. It will be blurred so nobody else can see it, you know, just in case you're streaming, but all you want to do is hit copy, okay? So copy that, go into your OBS, I'm going to drag my OBS over here, you can see that I'm now on to sources. Um, you know, sorry about the infinite loop, but you know, we're just gonna have to deal with it for now And all you need to do is hit add source and you just need to add a browser source now Once you add this browser source, it's going to say oh, you know, you just added a browser source whatever So all you need to do is simply delete this and then control V or paste uh, Your URL into it and then once you hit ok, you'll get something Let me go ahead and delete this now because we don't need it. I'm just showing that as an example, but you will actually have the alert box. So mine's right here. You can, you know, make it bigger, make it smaller, whatever you want to do. Uh, feel free. And then, like I said, all you have to do to test it is go back to the website and you'll see that all these buttons work. So, like, you know, test description. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. I mean, welcome to the party, guys. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my Twitch. Duh. Like, what are you doing? Welcome to the party. So now we're actually on Streamlabs OBS, guys, and if you just click Add Source, you can see that there's an alert box right here in Essential Sources. You can use a browser source again, but it's literally right here. So just click Add Source, and then click your alerts, and I'm pretty sure uh, if I go to Properties here, um, yeah, it should actually have uh, these. So if I hit Test Widget, there you guys go. It actually is already synced up through the website. As you guys know, we went through Streamlabs OBS's website. So it's going to be uh, just linked to you as long as you sign in with your Twitch account through Streamlabs OBS. A little bit more simpler on the Streamlabs OBS side of things, but let's be honest, for OBS, it's really just like one extra step. You're just pasting a link in. It's really not that hard to do. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. If you are streamers, you want to subscribe to me. I'm going to be making content on how to build your streams as I'm building my stream up as well. So if you guys, you know, want to stop in, chat in, ask me a few questions, or you just enjoy 
the content I create, all my socials are down in the description. Seriously guys, I'm doing this full time so any support goes a lot longer than you think. Even just a simple free follow goes a long way. Hope you all have a fantastic day and I hope those streams are going good. Like I said, gonna be building a Discord here soon. If it's not already in the description, it will be soon. Peace!